Uh, not really. They would need Seb, I think, to come for them to do something about that. Maybe he will. Good lift, but the Venge stun is there. It's actually Seb suddenly in a bad position. He's going to man up for this kill, but he died a boom. Doesn't feel worth. So he's, what, like 1,400 gold down, 1,500 gold down. Bottom lane, action breaking out. Stolen rolling thunder here for Sox, uh, but just going to walk away with it. Save it for a rainy day. Oh, that, um, we love you all very much. We're giving you some uh, distractions. Watching some pretty fun Dota's. OG's gonna go for the full smoke around. This is an MKB troll. If you can't <laughs> fight like now. The teams are just like raining around the entire map. And now Viking heading south. And it looks like they may dodge. No, they they may fight here. This is a really scary fight for OG because if they lose, the creeps are right in front of their base. And that's why I think that's, Sumail and them. Oh, he wants, wants to get out, but they know he's there. No tell. Uh-uh. I don't think so, Bubba. They're gonna get him with the Yules. It's it's no tell again, though. But for what? There's no item that he could replace with at this point because he's already committed right. to this. No Here tell. we go. Swapped onto the high ground. A little bit awkward, but the stun secures it. Now the abyssal straight onto the troll. Again, they're not gonna have this heal combo to keep Sumel alive. He's got BKP, and currently he's okay. Rolling Thunder being ripped up though. Soxa, he can't steal it because the spell seal was just used. It leaves him on an island. Sumel at the buzzer. No tell with the heal, with the save, but he's down again. It's a die pack. I don't know if Sumel can take this man fight. He's stunned once more by the Rolling Thunder. The fight. cookie slam. See ya later, Alligator. Now 33, heading south. Going for the TP out. Is there a bash? Can Chad get in there? Oh, boom. Kills him anyway with the ghost. Three down. Make it four with the dieback and a rush down mid. The split push is going to be slow work from OG. Viking, they might just pull this lane out. This game is starting to feel like it could be theirs. And look at how quickly Alk is going to take this tower. With the AC, doesn't take too much. They're gonna pop the glyph for this. He's got Abyssal ready, so if Soxa steps up, he's done for. And he's got his Chemical Rage too, but with none of the heroes buying back Shad, looks like he's gonna hold on to it temporarily. They're gonna go for probably the double set before they go for Throne Towers, I'd imagine. Uh, you still give OG a lot of respect. In Even fact, when Troll comes set. back, there won't be a battle trance. He can just shoot him into the base if they're ever just in a shoot bad him at the position. Throne. <laughs> and just shoot him at the throne. Yeah, tactical. All right, let's get ready to rumble. They move in. Seb goes in with the massive stomp. And then the fear. just runs away. The fear is going to interrupt him. He fails BKB. He's committed it early. He's not hitting anyone with this rapier. He's running. So just get the hell out, they say. Toby stolen. No, actually didn't get the like spider legs. Kiting him with the spider legs. Not taking damage, but also unable to fight. And now they lock onto him. I want that rapier, says Shad. But the same panic comes through. The ult comes through. He stands his ground. Sumail is strong. Is, is he strong enough? Shad, stun. Works on that sensor. Can he kill him off? Seb gets up the home stop. Seb burns him. Seb does it. He breaks down the out. He has the buyback, but he's not going to have chemical rage. Sumail is alive. Backs away to safety. The saves are coming through. OG hanging on on the south side of the fight. They want to kill off Seb. They want to get some revenge for their Alk, who's bought back for this. Silenced up. Tries to run. Number of buybacks currently lacking. Seb just marching down the top lane. They've got wards. They see some of these OG heroes, but they're a little hesitant if they want to go, and this is giving OG time to get in position. Sumail's so coming up the high ground. Now they swap in. The fear's there. They quickly bring down. No time, no more play. He's still alive. He will fall. Has no buyback. That means no Oracle. Could be huge. 33 with the BKB. TP out the troll. Committed, but they're working on him now with the Mortimer's Kisses. He's really isolated. The control from Toby is excellent. And Sumail is going to go down. What a play for Viking. Rapier now snagged. Shad's ready for that. He's got the leveler. There's no buyback on Sumail. They might just put end the game now. They're going to find another. It's three heroes dead. It's no buybacks on any of them. And OG, they got to pull out some monkey business here if they want to hang on any longer. He's just munching down buildings. Tiny ain't got nothing on this. Shad's going for the throne. He's going for it all. They've and done they've it. done it. OG to 2-1 by Viking. A lot of the damage that's able to come through is heavily magic. Yeah, you can still do damage to Timbersaw through a lot of this uh, reactive armor. Oh, they're converging on G here. Looking for him now, aren't they? Young G in some trouble, gets him inside the cogs, nicely done as well. And he can't see him getting his spells off. There is a three-man Fisher coming through, but it doesn't really make a difference. And now Kick might just be adding to this one as well as Aaron Snake are able to keep their distance long enough so the Supreme just runs down another DSA, trying to be careful. Still wants to see if he can throw in the Fisher and set up for something, maybe, but I'm not really too sure how much he's going to get done here. 
I think he was Seneca. Like, oh, he went the courier. Okay, right, that makes sense. Well, sure, why not? He got it. Sure, it doesn't make a big difference to anything really, but uh, yeah, I mean the the middle tier one tower taking a lot of damage. A huge first use of excess and two kills, nearly a tower. But now they're looking for revenge here. But they're actually straight on top of Young G here. This guy is so annoying. Meanwhile, stun forwards onto the Earth Shaker. Supreme's on top of him. Has some two points into Life Drain as well. Three points into Crypt Swarm, and this is going to put an end to the Earth Shaker's life as well. Three kills now, adding up in this middle lane for Supreme, and a crazy good first usage of Exorcism to drop that tower nearly down to nothing as well. So be on to Seneco here. Uh, Aero, there's pings coming out. They want to go for this one. That's next to be popped as well. He gets two inside the cogs, inside the pit. I mean, they will both lose, they will lose their lives, Aero on Aero, but it looks like it's a bit of an oven right now, and they are just getting cooked. TSA trying to get himself away. Crypt Swarm doesn't quite find him, and Sabrelite won't be able to chase him down. Able to dodge it through and uh, one for one trade with the outposts. The era again in great position to be able to interrupt the timber saw, locking it down topside. Supreme, Supreme, they might be able to turn it around here actually. Is there three heroes going on tip with Seneca just throwing his body in with the fire snap cookie? And that's going to be two kills going in towards the death prophet. And even if it was Cheeky Rao as well here, but I'm not really too sure much is going to happen from this one. Cheeky Rao, pretty damn tanky. Yeah, I mean, I think that's where the vast majority of the damage is coming from. Well, I mean, it's, it's just trying to deny this uh, Underlord. Oh, a lot of damage coming through onto DK, actually. Oh. Yeah, that's his life gone. And they're actually finding more heroes on the sides here as they scout them out with the Mortimer's Kisses. Supreme wants to make some more use of his uh, of his old nice pit of mallets coming out as well. Supreme now just able to get on top of the Metamans. Uh, there's going to be a four-man Poison Nova coming out, but it doesn't really make a difference. They're going to lose their Venomancer. Strike. This draft may be a little bit Keep too going. hard to bring this time around because they are just starting to fall apart at the seams as the cog's coming out. Doesn't quite catch the Earthshaker inside of it, but it doesn't matter. The Crypt Swarm finds him. Supreme, now godlike on this Death Prophet, ripping through the middle lane. If you can't get off your exit, then, well, it's not going to happen. Here we go, mid lane. Error's inside. Lifesteal is inside of Error right here. It's TP in. Yeah, looking for the, uh, for, the, for the hook shot. This has to be a good one. We've struggled so far, Error, but maybe we can find a good one now. Looking for the sidelines. In he goes, finding the Venomancer. Trying to go forwards for Young G here, but Young G able to get off the Requiem, but there's a rage out onto Charlie already. Along with the Mother's Kids over the top, but it's not really getting a whole lot done, but some really nice kids coming out all the same, doing good damage. Meanwhile, TSA still waiting around the side here. He's got the Echo. If he wants to jump in, kicked might be the first casualty of the fight. Will be TK gets in some trouble as well. Charlie getting on top of him as well. It's going to be a second kill coming off for the chicken fighters. The whole team was waiting around this blink dagger timing. And the guy who's farmed that blink just like, hey, you know what? I really want to go see what's up there. <laughs> oh, nice hook shot forwards onto Chikira as well. This is going to result in a kill onto him. The long range initiation and Charlie being forced up onto the high ground. A beautiful cookie. Have they caught out the Venomancer? Error's coming in. Wants to finish the job and will be able to do exactly that. Fogo's trying to punish but won't be able to get him close enough due to those cogs and the Timber Soul's going to miss with the Timber Chain as well. Meanwhile, Supreme, he's focusing on the buildings. He knows what's up. He's going to grab down the uh, Tier 2 Tower and, well, oh, the Timber Soul. He tries to come forward and throw in a Chakram or something to stop this happening, but unfortunately, he's just going to die along with the rest of his team who have already dropped as well. Tier 3 starting to fall. Exism still got He's going in. time left on it. And in comes the Echo Slam coming on down on to 3. But unfortunately, he's just going to get melted all the same. Now, Charlie, he wants his health back and he wants it off Young G. But they will show a bit of respect here. Get himself into Seneco. Making Seneco nice and big, nice and fast and getting themselves out. Yeah, I mean, you saw how badly he destroyed that Urshig when he gets onto the high ground. Like, if you can get on any of these supports, they will not be lasting very long. And dare I say, I mean, most of the cores as well. I mean, Venomancer, he's got a bit of armor to play with, but the Desolator going to rip through him pretty easily. The Shadow Fiend doesn't have that much, so... Yeah. Very vulnerable heroes to this uh, anti-armor lifestealer. It's level 6 like a minute ago, so I think he bought the Tome to make himself level 8. It's uh, more impressive than it should be. Artificially increased XP. And meanwhile, another day, another X has, and this time under the power of the arcane rune, gonna make it last longer. Uh, sorry, gonna make it cool down last less long. What can they do? Well, they go over the double. The Echo Slam, use it for the lockdown here as they've got the Requiem out as well. Supreme trying to keep himself alive. He's getting pretty low here, but trying to get off as many straight sides as possible and just run himself forwards and healing up so damn fast. And the hook shot forwards onto TSA. Gonna find them the second kill off this engagement. Beautifully done from Supreme. Recognizing the limits of his hero and just trying to get off as many spirit sides as possible. And that's your GG's course. The game's gonna go to, spirit, to the chicken fighters. 
And it's said to the Spirit Siphon, but to be honest, it almost was to the Spirit Siphon. The DP did absolutely everything. I mean, it was very good for Chicken Fighters game number two. The chains are cooling down, and he's got a sleight of fist. Is he going to die at nighttime? It sure looks like it, and Dream gets another kill. Oh, they cannot afford these. And meanwhile, mid, they're converging on Weeha. Vampire there locks him in with the cogs. Look at these active movements. Pushed back, gets off the spirit siphon, and this will get the OD kill. Is not seen in the meta right now. And forces GH to TP, and now GH is going to go down to the exorcism. It looks like it's another death for Nigma. The lanes are just an absolute disaster here early on. Lesh, as a good counter to this Timber Saw, it is a nice lane matchup for him now that he has that level six. You can just roll right at this Timber Saw, and despite everything going on in the game, Miracle is second in the net worth as we see this. Grimstroke is level skirmish. six already. They're just diving yeah. him. Oh, this is Yikes. potentially devastating. He has not gone for the point in Soulbind, though. They're just going to chase out GH with Vampire, and the Ghost coming in. Does he have the damage to get the kill? GH will end up surviving, but they get the OD, and they're going to get the tower as well. It, this meta is just not about heroes like OD. You can't defend your tower. You do get top on the left. So that's really nice. Mid the Night Stalker ultimate for this. This is a big dive. And FNG under the tower gets caught out. Beautifully played by Miracle. Can they burst him down? They get the kill. He's got buyback if they want to look the to turn this. Chains. They're all fighting right near the tower. The whole Gambit squad has arrived. And the chase is on. Shotlow doing good damage to Miracle. Can they bring him down? They will. And now Vampire okay. is going to fall in turn. Now GH on the run. It's good back. Vanish, but it's not enough. That ends up being a two for two here. Two supports and a core Lesh going down. With the Night Stalker all committed and with Weeha now in danger, getting worked by GPK. Kuroki tries case. to keep him oh. alive. Shachlo still diving for this. He's got a fresh Shockworm ready to go and Kuroki just melts to it. They might even get Weeha. This could be the whole squad going Jeez. down. It is. GPK dives all the way. Being pursued now. Miracle has that Yule Scepter. Mind Control's top, but if he uses it offensive it's going to need a, like a save from someone else on the team. GH getting caught out with the silence coming Jeez. through. Just destroyed. Oh, Kuroki couldn't even get off the false promise. He died so fast. And now with the Yules into the counter Yules, Kuroki on the run. But they're going to run him down. Too much damage. He can't fight. Both supports out of the picture. No chance the cores can do anything without them. It's a beatdown, BSJ. And suddenly that 3k net worth turned into 6k in a matter of one or two minutes tanking. They're going to look to still fight, though. In the mid lane, Miracle gets caught out. Not a whole lot of backup to keep him alive, and he'll go down. Now the counter chase. Dream, can he find the opening? Working on this Night Stalker. Kuro's in reserve, but the Good lows time. are coming out. The silence is coming out. The rocket chase. connects. He's going to chase. Mind control to the south. Also scattering back, but Dream oh. gets him with the stun. Secures the kill. Nigma just split pushing. Oh, tanky now. Has the Shiva's guard completed to go with the holy lock in the Yules. Enigma. Thanks, it's gonna walk though. up high Doing ground. A great job blind. The smoke. They're desperate for this kill, and they're gonna find only the clockwork with the cogs there keeping them away. Night Stalker up on a cliff for now, chained up and forced back. They do they get the clockwork kill. That's a dieback. Dead for 69. Uh, can they find more? Dream. He's a bit squishier, a bit more killable, but GPK, a beautiful silence again, and once more they bind them up and look to focus. We have though being healed up quite a bit stays alive for now they chase forward pushing himself back with the hurricane pike not gonna matter chains lock him down again oh he goes God. down once more and now the, all they have left is miracle and two supports karoki's gonna join the death squad and that's three out for the count nigma back to the base fresh orb on gpk and they can roach fast, even without exorcism, because they've got this Deso and Orb of Destruction. So. They do have to be a tad careful, because they don't have Vlads or anything, so... They will be tanking until the Tempersaw comes in to do the tanking for them. Has the Halberd, but uh, BKB on OD proved that to be useless during the last fight, as he did go down before was able to get much of his spells off. No contest just yet from Nigma. Timbersaw pure damage from that shock room is also quite nice. They are going to walk in with mind control. He leads the way. He gets instantly silenced, and the age is now snagged by Dream. Hookshot onto the backside. Nice Again, party. it's a beauty by Vampire. Isolates Kuro, forces him back and away. He's still not used the False Promise, trying to find a good opportunity as we hot TP's out. BKB's expended, and all they're using them for is to retreat. They've lost the IO. They're going to lose Kuro, too. That was an ambitious TP.
Throw damage. That is 220 bonus damage for every target. That is a lot with a minus 11 armor. As, uh, does have the greater fairy fire on GPK. And he's going to pop the ultimate, no hesitation. Yeah, with all that minus armor, the right clicks are no joke, and it makes it even harder to burst him. As though it wasn't hard enough. Especially value with the holy locket as the hook shot comes through, pushes Weeha back with the Cog's Vampire again uh, on point. He's just dead. And that's another kill. They forced out the buyback on the IO. Too little, too late. Can they get the FMG counter kill? Miracle, he's made his way into the backside. He can look for Vampire as well, but that's a tankier target who four steps away while Dream pursues in the north, looking for this Night Stalker, brings him down as well. Miracle's got to hoof it out of there. The chase, do they continue? Another buyback expended. Creeps are not pushing in too quickly from the other lanes, but now they start to group up. And in the mid lane. Dream with the chains, with the soul bind. The combo is there. Kuro silence. Kuro's dead. They buy back instantly on him. The Aegis has been committed. Could they possibly turn the fight around here? The Leshrac very low, but does make it out. Great relocate by GH. Probably Gambit should just retreat and reset. They've committed their BKBs. They've committed their Aegis. They may overextend if they're not careful. Great stun by FNG. So it's not like they ambushed you with this mobility hero, right? right. They, they showed it. They showed their cards on that front from the get-go, and you still didn't address it in your entire draft. But as we go, maybe the nail in the coffin Gambit's trying to drive here with this last smoke does get the top outpost before they finish this. I think it's all about the buyback TPs when you get these outposts. And in terms of buybacks here, we've got one on Timber, one on OD. Clocks is cooling down soon, but the fight breaking out now. Weeha, chained up, trying to force that BKP. They get the Bandit because he tries to jump over the cliff, but Chainsaw will actually be just fine as a result. It lets the chain cool down. Miracle's in so far ahead of the team. He's out for almost two minutes. Surely this has to be all she wrote. They've also brought down the Oracle. No buybacks of any of these heroes. The OD will have one, but what's it going to matter? Another Second details. exorcism coming through. GPK shredding Nigma. Two double kills. Stack them up. Knock them down. Nigma getting battered and beaten. Mind control will be next. Tries to run to the south. They're going to chase. They could just go for the racks here. They want both. They want the world, and they're going to get it too. It's a full team wipe, as, at least it feels that way. Five deaths over the course of that fight. And that is the Megas, and that is the game. Nigma, you said it, BSJ. Looking a little shaky. You didn't like the OD pick. The Night Stalker is not a hero we've been seeing a lot of either. Sometimes they pull out.